My name is Rachel and my username is timelady 221 b Here it is. Yeah, uh, I'm from England. Um, I live in Brighton, but I go to uni in Chichester, which won't mean anything to you if you're not from England because you wouldn't have, you might have heard of Brighton, but whatever. Um, started watching Sherlock when it was originally broadcast. And I watched it because it was written by Stephen Moffat. And I wanted to see what he did with another program because, um, basically, because it was going to affect Doctor Who's um, scheduling and stuff like that. And I was thinking, if he's going to spend all this time on another program, then it better be good, basically, because it's making us wait even longer for Doctor Who. So that was kind of my reasoning for it. Um, and then obviously I really loved it. Um, it's just a shame he's mucking up Doctor Who a bit, but nobody's perfect. Um, yes, uh, choose the last piece of fan fiction you read and read a line from it. Uh, well, this isn't fan fiction, this is the canon. Um, the last thing I read was Flowers in a Box. Again, it wasn't the first time I'd read it, but um, I'll read out one of my favourite bits. I don't know whether to do a silly voice or not. Um, I just like, I like this bit because it's intertextuality and it's referencing other shows. Um, we have e to go back in time to kill the man whose skull it is, said Sherlock. If we can mask the skull not existed, that we e cannot die. Okay, said John. Don't you have that friendy with the blue police box? No, he's looking for his friendest baby. Oh yeah, what about the angle who can travel in time? Said John. No, he's good now. Get it, guys? Ha ha, said Sherlock. I just love that because obviously it's referencing Doctor Who and Supernatural and this whole fic is so crappy and brilliant. Um, so if you haven't read it, <laughs> you know, come on, all, all the fandoms read it, um, and it's worth it because it's just outrageous, it's outrageous flowers in a box. Okay, go read it. Um, and the next question is, the, which is my favourite episode? Favourite episode is The Great Game because there's so much, there's so much going on in there. Um, and I like that it's case after case after case, like an endless sequence. And uh, I love the Moriarty bit at the end. And the end, the, um, the scene with Sherlock in his dressing gown at the beginning and all the bored stuff. I think that's a really well written scene. And um, it's, it's great for quotes as well, the last episode. Uh, the last episode and the first episode are the ones, um, you know. It's got that good quoting and stuff, which we'll go on to in another question in a minute. Um, pronounce the following words. Sherlock, Mycroft, Lestrade, Moriarty, Gator, Reidenbach, I don't know how to pronounce that. Chuffed, Hanged, Crumpets, Meretricious, Holmes, Baskervilles, Asbo. What's your favourite canon story? Currently reading The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Um, and my favourite from here, uh, I, I read... Um, uh, study in Scarlet and the Sign of Four before that. I like the Sign of Four. Study in Scarlet, not so much. Didn't really, you know, like the overall story. But my favourites from Adventures of Sherlock Holmes are uh, the Red-Headed League, the Man with the t uh, the Man with the Twisted Lip, uh, and the Speckled Band. And um, yeah, and there's this really great scene in. Um, no, no, it's just, just an all of them actually. I like A Scandal in Bohemia, but it's very overrated, and Irene Adler as a character is very overrated. Not that I don't want to see her in Sherlock, because I do, and I'm excited about that, but let's move on. Um, what's your favourite ship, or if that's not your area, who's your favourite character? I love uh, John and Sherlock, a given, you know, some people don't like it, but whatever. Um, so I really love their friendship and it's fun to joke about them being in a relationship but obviously on the show I wouldn't want that to happen because I want them to stick to the canon. Um, yeah, 
Um, and my favourite character is Sherlock. And then Lestrade, I'd say. I really love Lestrade. And I hope that him, uh, Rupert Graves and Benedict have lots of scenes together in the next series. Um, oh, and I ship um, Sherlock and Moriarty as well. Um, you know, not, I'm not saying that's, you know, that's not worthy of mentioning, because it is. There's just not a lot of fan fiction for those two when there really should be, really. I thought that was a bit weird that there isn't much fan fiction of those two. Um, would you rather be? I would rather be uh, occupying a minor position in the British government. That's my realistic answer. Because why would you want to be a sociopath? You're cast out from a society. Well, you might want to be, but, you know, that's my answer being in the British government. Tell us about Rupert Graves. Rupert Graves is good at football and has five children, apparently. He probably has six now. It's just like, apparently he's a sex machine. <laughs> Silver Fox, yeah. Anyway, bonus round, because I wrote this about blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm blah, blah, blah. These questions, obviously, they're wonderful and brilliant. Um, you know, I missed out a question. Missed out the one about which which quotes do you slip into everyday conversation from Sherlock, which is basically all of them, and I'm really rambling and I don't normally do this, but um, uh, God, so many. Um, whenever I see my friends, sometimes we do the catch you later thing, and uh, no, no, you won't, no, you won't, All right? And um, just anything, anything. I just can't be bothered to um, this list all, all the sh all the Sherlock quotes but there, there's so many um, m and my other friend does a great impression of that's what people do shouting it in my face when I least expect it so that's brilliant um, yeah and the bonus round is do anything you want which I just want to say hi to my followers thanks for following you're brilliant hope you've all got the shirt it's brilliant um, and by saying three words you want um Crumpets, moth -upped. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the next word is, so I'm just going to say, um, Matt Smith is two words, but you know, <laughs> I'm a hoobian. Anyway, okay, that's the end of the video, so I hope I don't have to record this again. Thank you for watching. <laughs>